Your degree is your destination here at the University of Leicester, so it's crucial that you understand how your final undergraduate degree classification is worked out. At a glance, it might seem a bit tricky to get your head around, but it's not as complex as you might have come to think. To break it down, your degree is made up of three years. Each year is made up of a number of modules. Each module is worth a number of credits. These credits relate to the workload for each module. So, the more credits a module is worth, the more time it will take to complete. For each year of study, your modules must be worth a total of 120 credits. How can you track your progress? To make sure you gain the skills and knowledge you set out for at university, your chosen programme, and each module within it, has been put together with a series of Intended Learning Outcomes, or ILOs. Regular assessments for each module mean you can meet your ILOs throughout each module and keep an eye on your progress. You'll get marks on each of these assessments, which will contribute to your overall module mark. To pass the module, you'll need a mark of at least 40%. At the end of each year of study, your marks for each module will be reviewed by a board of examiners. At this point, it will be decided whether you've met all the requirements to progress to the next year, or whether you'll need to retake any assessments. If you've passed all modules and achieved an overall credit-weighted average of at least 40% for the year, you will progress. What is a credit-weighted average? As some modules are worth more credits than others, it's important to work out a fair average when looking at your results. Without taking credit-weighting into account, to find the average of these marks, we would simply add together all of the marks and divide by the number of modules. However, to correctly weight the results, we multiply each mark by its corresponding number of credits. These figures are then totted up and divided by the total number of credits. Now the average is higher. Module F, which is worth 30 credits, has the highest mark, so the overall result has been pulled up proportionally. A weighted average gives more emphasis to those modules worth more credits. What if you fail? If you've failed assessments or modules, you'll be given a further attempt at those you failed, which is referred to as reassessment. If you've failed a reassessment, head over to our website to find out your next steps, or check out the Student Guide to Undergraduate Assessment and Award. So how does the final degree classification work? Your first year results don't count towards your final degree classification, so it's just your second and third year degree marks that will be considered by the Board of Examiners at the end of your studies. The weighting between these two years is 33 to 67, or 0.33 to 0.67. The credit weighted average is calculated for each year first, and then the weighted average of these two figures produces your grade. To find this weighted average, we multiply the grade for year 2 by 0.33, and the grade for year 3 by 0.67. Adding these two figures together gives us our final figure. To gain an honours degree, you'll need to pass at least 195 credits across years 2 and 3, and fail no more than 45 credits. The classifications for honours degrees are First class honours, you'll need a credit weighted average of at least 70%, or 68% if you've also achieved at least 70% in 120 credits, of which at least 30 must be from your final year. Upper second class honours, you'll need a credit weighted average of at least 60%, or 58% if you've also achieved at least 60% in 120 credits, of which at least 30 must be from your final year. Lower second class honours, you'll need a credit weighted average of at least 50%, or 48% if you've also achieved at least 50% in 120 credits, of which at least 30 must be from your final year. Third class honours, you'll need a credit weighted average of at least 40%. If you have any questions about your degree classification, get in touch with your personal tutor. In 2020 and 2021, the university introduced some special measures to make sure that your degree classification would not be impacted by the pandemic. Please see the COVID-19 section of the university website for information on how these may apply to you. With a good understanding of the process under your belt, you will have the power to drive your degree in the right direction.